Don't you guys hate it once you mine like a, a, an ore of some sort, and it only you can only smelt it into into one uh, 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 one ingot? Isn't that just the craziest thing ever? Like, come on, what is this? Russia? We we get two here. Uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and, and double our, our ores today. Uh, Try a different intro, so we'll see what you guys think of it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and double our ores today. We're going to be using our good pal mechanism. And uh, so in order to go ahead and get the good things going, we're going to need a smelter. Don't worry about that. Um, we also need a, I think it's an enrichment chamber. I can't spell enrichment chamber, so don't take my word for it. Let's see here. Uh, what are your uses? Is there someone? You... What is that? I'm kind of freaked out, not gonna lie. Okay. Guys, I'm really confused. Where are those steps coming from? Oh, hey guys, by the way, I went ahead and finished up the house here. Uh, seems to be haunted a little bit. Um, don't, don't pay too attention to the haunting. It's not that funny. Guys, there is something walking around. Where could... <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, let's just forget about the noise. Maybe it'll go away if we close our eyes. So we're going to need to go ahead and make a metallurgic infuser here. So that is going to be our first goal here. We just need some osmium, two ferni, and four irons. So we're going to go ahead... Get some of these guys smelting up here, like so. All right, so the two ferni, we got this. Made too many, we made eight, okay. Fear not, for eight is enough. All right, so then we're also gonna need to work on a generator to go ahead and, and make some power. Um, let's have a look here. You know what? We could go ahead and do this. Coal, clay, and some lava? Yeah, let's go do that. Um, I just found two slime balls laying on the ground here. I didn't kill them. I didn't even see them. They were literally just laying here like this. Uh, this is a single-player world. I'm... I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. This is really weird. All right. Weirdness aside, we got all the stuff that we need to go ahead and make the furnator here, I believe. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, the only reason why we're making this, guys, is so that we can go ahead and go ahead and get some power for our machines. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, I need to... Do this. Need some more of that. All right, there we go. We got our furnator crafted. Oh, yeah, and guys, I, I punched this out down here. We now have a, a full enchanting table. As you can see, I've got a lot of steak on me. I uh, went ahead and killed pretty much every uh, cow that I saw and a few horses, and I forgot. I always forget the noise that the horses make when they die is so terrible to listen to all right so we got our furnator here yep that is producing rf power perfect all right so we come back on up here make our metallurgic infuser very good all right we're gonna chuck this guy right here and he is getting power um go ahead and throw some redstone in here some iron and we're gonna let this kind of simmer for a bit. I think we're using too much power. Ooh, we are. Furnator, you're not that good. There is an upgraded though. Oh, we can just go ahead and upgrade it to the second one. We're probably gonna do that here in just a second. 
cool. So we got these guys processing up the enrichment chamber. This isn't what we need to do. We need to do the, the osmium for it. And then how are we getting steep? Okay, so yeah, another metallurgic infuser. And we can make that up, no problem. All right, second metallurgic infuser we've got made. All right. So go ahead and do that. Let's upgrade the furnator while we have it here. All right. Missing lots of iron. All right, so we got the, the basic. It's a basic person. Uh, we got this, the... Yeah, look at that. That's much better. Perfect. Throw a little bit more in there. So if we were to say throw two more in, how are we looking on power? Oh, yeah, look at that. Still going up. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely worth our time to go ahead and upgrade. Um, our second metallurgic infuser here. That's all charged up. Um, let's have a look. Do I have any wood? Our logs left over. Don't think so. Oh, you want to duel? I hope they remember you. All right, so let's get on our way back on up here. Got the logs, because I do believe it needs charcoal. I don't think it can take just coal. Um, so let's go ahead and get some of that processed up. All right, yeah, because we're making the steel here. Let's see. We don't have any coal on us. Let's just try it. We'll use eight coal here. If this can use it, then I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus. How many we got? I got eight. Ah, can't click today. All right. How are you looking? Like a beast. All right, gonna let these process, and then we gotta throw them through again. So I'm gonna get eight more coal. We're not gonna enrich these guys just yet. We do 100% need to do that, but we just, I don't have the materials to, to double them, double our efforts. All right, so the iron has been processed. So what you go ahead and do, right, is you put the iron in here. It gets turned into enriched iron. And then once it's all done, you throw it back in here again, and the enriched iron becomes the steel grit, which is what we need to go ahead and smelt up. So perfect. We are on our way to creating steel, and we also got some charcoal too, which if you guys have watched my fabric, all the fabric series, you do know we have a lot of charcoal for a reason. So anyways, going to let this process up here real quick, and then we'll be building the uh, the mechanism material, or machines after that. All right, so with all the steel, yep, the upgrade, with all the steel done, Ski, we should, we need glass. We need lots of glass. Do I have any glass? I think I turned on my glass. What do we use glass for? Can we turn it back into panes? Or into normal glass? Don't think so. Man. Oh, yeah, guys made a sugar cane farm, by the way. That's how we got the bookshelves. All right, we got our eight sand. Let's run on back. What do you guys think of this house? Do you guys like it at all? Um, very basic house with a cobblestone roof. I kind of like it. I did want to do the roof the same uh, material, like out of spruce planks. So that's why I did it out of cobblestone. I think it turned out okay. We'll get into that later. Um, I think it turned out okay. Uh, I don't know if I like absolutely love it. So let me know what you guys think about the the house down in the comment section. So this is kind of the, the upstairs bedroom area. I do plan on putting some cool uh, like machines and stuff like that in here and possibly finding a way to move the enchantment table in here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but might be able to. Uh, if not, we'll just leave it somewhere else. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the, the comment section. It would be super helpful. All righty. So we should have the ability to make two of these guys. Perfect. All right. We need some redstone. 
been playing a lot of vanilla Minecraft lately, guys, and I'm used to just being able to like click on something and it show up. Like over here, just boom, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so enrichment chamber has been made. Um, so let's get this all situated right. Metallurgic infuser. Uh, we'll put these kind of over here. They're a little window. Furnator, here you go. Coal, here you go, furnator. Metallurgic infuser, there you go. And then to make the other boy, the smelter. No way, we need two more sand. I didn't think this through, did I? All right, crisis averted, kind of. Energized smelter, booyah, like so. All right, that's getting charged up. Amazing, good job, good job. Let's go ahead and make a, a chest here. Um, perfect, I don't know, yeah, we need 16. All right, so we're gonna have one on this side and one on this side. All right, and then we just need a cable going from like there. Um, input, I don't know if we need, I don't think we need anything here to push out, but we might need to put a cable underneath or back behind. Um, let's have a look here. It's probably gonna make me, yeah. Let's make some cables while we're at it. Um, yeah, we just need two more. Okay, so we've got this here. So what we do is we take one of these basic control circuits. Bam. So this is how we move items in mechanism. Like so. Um, now, how, how do we set that without the configurator? I mean, that's pretty cheap. Um, do we have... We do have some gold we can double up. Okay. Get doubling, my dude. All right, so here. Output eject on. Yep, we do see that coming through here. Perfect. There's a little manual here. How are we doing on power? We got plenty, but we do need some coal. All right, let's see. Are we able to just put items over like that? Input, yep. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. So we are going to have to get some cables going. Yep, this has no problem doing that, just like we thought. All right, and then over here with the redstone... Need to make up two more of those guys. Perfect. Okay, so we should be able to actually make that configurator. I don't know if we're going to be able to charge it, but hopefully be able to do something. All right, energy tablet is charged up. We do have some lapis here. All right, will this let us just configure it without it? Oh, it will. Oh, <laughs> your boy excited. All right, so if we go like this, we are going to do that. Ah, we got to break this. That's okay. All right, so that'll take items out. If we set this, the back for input, and then output on the top, we throw some of this in here. Yes, there we go. So then this comes over, we're gonna go ahead and stop. Yeah, we don't want that. There we go, so the items come out of here, go into here, and then they get put over here. Yes, guys, we have automated ore duplication already. It's beautiful. Look at it. 
It's not that beautiful. Don't worry. I'll make it beautiful later. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is grab all of the ores that we have collected. Uranium, silver, I can't grab them all. Got to put them in here. Three at a time. Osmium, tin. Actually, I don't think osmium can go in here. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Maybe it can. We'll put it in there. We'll let mechanism decide if it's going to smelt its own ore. Nickel, lead, copper. I know bauxite can't go in there. That's okay. All right. Perfect. So this is waiting here for this to go ahead and fill up. Uh, we will go ahead and configure that to be insert. Uh, so there's no confusion. And then these just get put over there. Perfect. All right. I'm going to go AFK, let these process up, and then we'll continue on with the episode. Fanania. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey! Look at him bait you. He's like, look, I'm not coming back. Mm, that's two of them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, guys, so I've done a little bit of work off camera here, just prettying it up. Yes, it's still working like a dream. I keep forgetting that silver doesn't go into here. Uh, but as you can see, we've got lots of iron, lots of gold, uranium, copper, all the good stuff. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have 30 levels, guys. So we're going to go ahead and enchant a pickaxe. I wanted to do it on camera with you guys because I'm really, really hoping to get an excavating one. But we will see. We will see. Alright, here we go. Experience boost one. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, efficiency four and breaking three. That's okay. We do have experience boost. Um, we've got enough iron to kind of... Uh, I was hoping for fortune. I was really hoping for fortune. We're going to combine these two. Because we can. Anvil. Oh, my gosh. So there's a weird thing going on when you, like, drag and let go on show recipes. It kind of does that thing. So if you guys are experiencing the same issue, that's what's going on. All right. So. Yeah. Ten levels. We'll call it. Spoopy. Spoopy. The pickaxe. Perfect. So this will allow me to kind of mine a bit faster, which is really cool. Uh, one other thing I want to go ahead and make today is we need to go ahead and make a little bit more of uh, the the steel. Because I want to I wanna have these guys powered without having to put, like, this guy here. Um... Oh, this is the redstone one. How did it? Wait a sec. Why did I get experience from that? Did anyone else see that? I got experience from my... Is that that experience boost? That might be a little broken. <laughs> You ever get experience from picking up your machine? Wait. From picking up your anvil? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, this is going to be super OP. If I start mining like a like a long tunnel and I keep getting experience for just mining like guys, this could be like a really good source of experience now that I think about it. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so we got some more steel made up here. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and make up some of these basic universal cables. These are Mechanism's way of sharing the power. Uh, so we're going to go down two blocks from it, unfortunately, because we do have a chest here. And if we mined underneath it, we would see it. Um, but then we're going to go something like this. So here. And there we go. These guys are getting power from this guy. As you can see, they are draining. Uh, but it is okay because these will hold a bunch of power. And then, it, as you can see, it's going back up already. Perfect. But this means we got power over here now. And then we go like this. And it's like we didn't even do anything. But now we don't have to keep moving these guys. We can just chuck the redstone in here. And then make it. As, as, as you can see, bam, look at that. Pretty awesome. So, guys, today we got a little bit into... Oh, shoot. Never mind. All right, so there's one more thing we need to go ahead and make from Mechanism, and it's called a Precision Sawmill. This is our goal. All right, so this is the final thing we're making. We need to make one more steel casing, so we do need some uh, sand. So with sand, we make the glass, and then we can come and go it. Whoa, we can come here and make some stuff. Precision saw. Oh, we need the steel casing first. All right, what else we need? We need those alloys I made on accident earlier. Did I use them already? Well, I made some more over here. I made one. <laughs> All right, and then do we have the, the green guys? Yes, we do. We got the two here. Perfect. All right, so now we got the precision sawmill. All right, and you guys might be wondering, why do we want this? Well, we uh, we go ahead here. We throw some wood in here. Uh, oop, now we're going to put a torch. All right, we'll put that here. And then we go ahead and grab some logs. All right, we got five oak logs here. And these will get broken down into, where is it at? These get broken down into sawdust. Now, if we look at the uses for sawdust here, if you look here, cardboard box. This is how we're going to go ahead and steal a blaze spawner from the nether in the next episode. So, guys... We're going to wrap up the episode for today. We went ahead, doubled our ores, and we got a precision sawmill set up with uh, metallurgic infusers as well. Pretty good introduction into mechanism. So I hope you guys all did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Guys, we'll be seeing you in the next episode. Stay tuned for more. It's going to be a blast. Bye-bye.